Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So good to have all of you here this morning. I'm Pastor Sharon, and this is Pastor Rock, and we just want to welcome each and every one of you. And if this is your first time, we're honored to have you, and let's just give them a hand clap of welcome. Amen. I want to just speak a word of, of um, the blessing of me before I turn it over to Pastor. So if you will, just receive. Amen. Amen. Father, I just thank you, Father God, that your people are blessed, Father God. Yes. Blessed coming in and blessed going out, Father God, and everything they put their hands to prospers. And Father, I just speak, speak peace of your people today, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that the peace of God that passes all understanding fills their hearts and their minds this day, Father God. And we thank you right now, Father God, for each and everything that you have to give to your people, Father God, this morning. Father, you are here yes. and you are ready to yes. speak to your people, Father God. You see, as Patty said this morning, everything that everyone came in with this morning, you see every need, Father God. Yes. I thank you, Father God, that your spirit, Father God, your word is divided, uh, it goes out and is divided with between all the people this morning to minister and meet every need, Father God. And we thank you, Lord, that you'll not turn anyone away, that you don't have a deaf ear this morning, Father God, but you have a hearing ear and seeing eyes to see what each and every need is this morning. And we thank you, Father, that we are ready. We are ready to receive what you have for us this day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, maybe we're looking time. I got excited about the prayer. <laughs> Look at your neighbor, point at your neighbor, smile at your neighbor, and say, I came, I came to, receive to receive God's good word, God's good word this, day. this day. And I declare, I declare I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready, ready to, receive to receive God's good word, God's good word this, day. this day? And I declare, I declare I'll never, I'll never, 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 never be the same again in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. And I tell you, Pastor Sharon's prayer this morning uh, covered the word this morning. Amen. So I'm going to just get right on into the word. Praise Ask God. if you get your Bibles and go to 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Glory to God. 2 Timothy. 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So when we get afraid, that didn't come from God. The fear that comes against us, that's not God. It comes against our minds, it comes against our sound minds. It tells us that we're losing our minds sometimes, doesn't it? Uh, it speaks to us. Fear speaks to us and and sometimes we talk it, and we give place to it. Sometimes we joke about it. But um, God didn't give us that spirit of fear. Fear comes in from the outside by what we hear, what we see, what we think about. You could hear about cancer. Now, I know this is a, a delicate subject because I know there's a bunch of members that have either had cancer or experiencing cancer now, taking treatments now, or, or different things. But uh, I think this is uh, appropriate today because it, it really came up in my spirit because that's one of the things that the devil uses against us, yep. cancer or heart trouble or some, some disease of some kind. He'll tell us that you know we're going to have that or we're going to die with that or, or it's going to come on us. And it gets us thinking about it. And we've all heard about it. And uh, we've all read about it. But uh, we don't need to talk about it. Amen. Amen. Now, now hang on. You say, well, I, I got to talk about it. I'm, I'm saying don't talk about it in the first person. Yeah. That you're going to have it. Amen. Or that you do have it. Amen. You do not have it. I don't care if the doctor said you got it. I'm telling you now, I'm, I'm basing what I'm saying on the Word of God. Yeah. Now, my, my testimony based on the Word of God is higher than, than any other testimony around. It's higher than the testimony of what the doctor says. Amen. And doctors on our side. We, we flow in line with their authority. But at the same time, we don't come into alignment with saying what they pronounced over us. Amen. You understand? Because I have a higher authority. It's above me. 
And, and cancer is below my higher authority. Yeah. Heart trouble is below yeah. this higher authority. Any circumstance that we can go through in life is below this highest authority. Yeah. Any word spoken that's trying to exalt itself above this word, my highest authority, uh-uh, i got to pull it down. Amen. i got to say no. I cannot come in agreement with it. I cannot come in alignment with it. I'm giving it place if I do. Amen. And we've all done it. I'm not. This is not. Amen. I'm preaching to the choir. We're all. We're all doing this. We're all learning how to how to do this better. Yeah. All yes. of us. Yes. Fear of something like that. Fear of cancer. Fear of, of different things. It makes it seem bigger than God. Yes. And we could listen to things that feed our fear. Listen to stories of people that have died from it. Now hang on. You say, I think listening to stories is a good thing. I do too. But you need to listen to the stories of the people that live through it. Yes. They're on the other side of it. That have already conquered it. It's been behind them 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And they're still going strong. That's what we need to feed on. Because if not, we'll be feeding on something that will produce fear in us. It'll let it in by hearing. The law of hearing. We don't need to let it in. Some people that will hang around, will say things. They're well-meaning people. They're, they're lovely people. But they'll say the wrong things. And when you're going through certain things, yeah. there's some people, well-meaning people, I don't mean this in a hateful way or, or anything like that, but there's some people you need to hang less around. Oh, yeah. Because you don't need to be hearing all the... Because some people talk trash. Yeah. They don't realize it's not in line with the Word of God. They're just talking trash and yeah. trash and trash. Whoa, no, I, I can't be hearing that. Yeah. I'm going through something right now. I'm believing for something right now. I can't, I can't allow my ears to hear that. I can't allow that to get in my spirit without rejecting that and saying, no, it will not be that way. No, I'll not have that. No, I'll live and not die. I don't care what, what happened to your grandmama or great-grandmama or, or whoever. That's not happening to me in my house. Amen. Now, I'm sorry. There's a bloodline and we're going to draw it. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not discounting the people that, that have that went through things and didn't make it. I'm not discounting that. We've, yeah. we've all got that in our families. We've all, but I'm telling you, that doesn't have to, have to be us. Yeah. Excuse me? we got the Word and we're going to stand on the Word. Yeah. So that's fanatical, Pastor. I'm not trying to be fanatical. I'm telling you, you'll live and not die if you'll do what I'm saying here. Hang on. Just drop to me. What about, what about the people when Jesus went to pray for the, for the person and Jesus took everybody in the room and said, get out. He got everybody out. They're, they're professional warners and professional whalers and all this kind of junk. He said, you got to go get out. He went in somebody else's house and said, you got to get out. He, went, he took authority in somebody else's house and said, you got to leave. Why? Because he is protecting the atmosphere of what's being heard and what's being spoken. You got to protect the atmosphere in your house. Your spiritual house as well as your natural house. You got to protect the atmosphere. You can't just have anybody talking in your way. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. You got to have to put them out. I'm just yes. say, oh, well, you know, they, they came to visit me in the hospital and they, they were nice people, but they, they said, you know, that I was probably going to die with that. You know, we, we got something we got to do in the hospital. We got something we got to do, but uh, we, they fit the room test. You got to leave. I love you. You got to leave. I love you. I love you. You don't have to come back. Love you. Love you. Love you. Amen. I love you from a distance, a great distance. Amen. Because I can't have that stuff in my spirit. Amen. Not, not yeah. if I'm gonna get what I need to get. I can't have it in my spirit. That's right. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Mm. Faith is the opposite of fear. Faith comes by hearing. Fear comes by hearing. And hearing and hearing. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. Fear comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. Amen. Be careful what you hear. The enemy wants to get us into fear and keep us there. Mm -hmm. Be careful, again, who you allow to speak into your life. Right. Amen. He could send a well-meaning Christian across your path and say, you know, we know the Lord, the Lord is teaching you something through this. It's the Lord. The Lord is just, He's just doing such a wonderful work in you. God might be doing a wonderful work, but God didn't send it. Excuse me? He didn't send it. It didn't come from Him. If it's not good and perfect, it didn't come from Him. It didn't come from Him. 
Hello? Yes, sir. Did not come from me. We're going to throw down the Holy Ghost fit this morning. Amen. We're not going to accept them when the UPS man tries to deliver them. When our friend starts talking about them and says, you got to get here it is, here it is. No. Uh-uh. Not for me, it ain't. Maybe for you, but it's not for me. No. 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 It'll not be this way. No. In the name of Jesus. No. I got the blood of Jesus. No. 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 I'll cover my mind with the blood. Yes, sir. Tell me. Uh-huh. The thing that they say seems a lot of times, yes. Yes, yes, holding up the blood. Yes, 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 yes. We call on the blood a few minutes ago. We drew a cross about the blood. See, that's what we do. Yes. Ah, uh-uh. no. We don't mean the people that. I'm not saying they're, they're, you know, the enemy uses all of us. He uses all of us at other times against other people because you don't know what somebody else is going through. And we say careless, harmless, critical, judgmental, harsh things. Amen. Amen. Yes, Father. That was good preaching. Amen. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Sometimes I can't be the only one that's like this. Sometimes you can be talking and having a good conversation about the Lord. And you're just talking about the Lord. And you ever notice any time you start talking about the Lord, there's something released. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a glory that's released in just talking about the Lord. Don't the Amen. Lord healed me of leukemia. The Lord, I tell you what, He made a way in my financial situation. He, he helped me get this. And he, he did this for me. He went before me and He did that. And then you're just going back and forth, back and forth, sharing with each other about what the Lord has done in your life. And there's something released. There's a, you know, world people would call it something else. I, I don't know, you know, they'd say there's a vibe, a certain vibe. But we know it's, it's the glory. That's and the right. glory is just released as we're just talking about it. And there's great glory released as we're talking. But I'm telling you, the same people, same Christian people, all of us, sometimes we can start talking about this is going wrong. That's going wrong. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is happening. That is happening. The devil did this to me. The devil did this to me. I'm afraid the devil's going to do this. Amen. And what happens? What happens? You're grieved on the inside of you. That's right. You ever been talking to somebody and suddenly you're grieved? Yeah. You know, sometimes... Amen. Sometimes I've been grieved, and you know I used to be kind of shy, and still I'm not somebody that just likes to get in your face. I, I'm not I'm not that that kind. But the Holy Spirit is changing me in a little bit of that Amen. because because now I'm going to start just cutting people off. Amen. I'm going to quietly excuse myself, but if, if I make it where I can't quietly excuse myself, I'm going to hurt some feelings, and I don't mean to. I'm not trying to hurt feelings. But I'm not going to let that grieve my spirit and stay in the middle of it. I can't do it no more. I can't do it. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Not going to be proper English, but it's proper in the spirit. Come on, Pastor. You understand? Give the truth, Pastor. I ain't going to do it no more. Amen. Because it's, it's opening a door to the enemy and it's giving him access by the words that are put in that atmosphere. Amen. And we got to stop it. we got to take charge of it. Amen. Talking about things that you're afraid of or attempted to be afraid of gives life to those things. Yeah. I tell you what, Pastor, I'm afraid of getting on an airplane and flying. I tell you what, you could all these terrorist attacks, oh, you would never catch me on an airplane. I, would, I should be able to catch you anywhere right. that God needs you. Amen. If that means He needs you in Asia, Amen. then you're going to fly to Asia since you can't walk since you can't, take a, you can't take a bus, you can't take a car, you don't have to fly. Amen. And you know what? You're going to hijack the plane before you ever get on the plane. Yeah. Amen. You're going to say, now Lord, you said I'm supposed to go here now. Now I'm sure about it, I'm supposed yeah. to go. Amen. You know I'm, I'm checking His will. I'm finding out His will. But if He tells me I'm supposed to go, yeah. that means all i got to do is cover it with the blood. Yeah. And that right. plane ain't coming down. That's yeah. right. I'm not Praise worried God. about terrorist attacks. I ain't worried about nothing. Because if they're on it, they're in trouble. Yes. They're liable to get killed on the plane. I'm Amen. telling you. Amen. That plane ain't coming down. Yeah. It ain't coming down. Yeah. That bus, uh-uh, ain't going to be no bus wreck on the bus you on. Yeah. Ain't going to be no, no you know, attack, terrorist attack in the taxi you take or the vehicle that you drive. Yeah. Excuse me? No. A thousand will fall at your side. A ten thousand will right yes. here. But it won't come down. You don't be afraid of it. No, I don't go out every day. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Hutch! Hutch! That is 
is not in line, that is not submitting ourselves to the Word of God, our highest authority is the Word of God, I will not fear what man can do to me. I will not fear. I will not fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear. So if God didn't give it to me, the devil is trying to get it to me. He's trying to put it in my heart. He's trying to put it in my mind. He's trying to get it to take over my emotions. But I say, no! No in the name of Jesus. No! Yes. Come on, Pastor. He used to have a slogan years ago in the, in the government. He used to say, just say no. It's about the drug program. Just yeah. say no. Just say no to the devil. Just say no to fear. Just say no. No. When you see it, just stop and say no. 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 You got to talk back to it. You got to talk back to it. You can't just do it in your mind. Amen. See, because it's on the same playing field in your mind. Right. See, the fear thoughts and the faith thoughts, it's all there together. God and the devil. God, I mean, he's, he's trying to tell you it's going to be okay. The devil's telling you, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. you got to speak out loud. When it starts attacking your mind, you got to speak it out loud because it's a higher realm of authority. Thank you, Voice, audio, audio is higher authority than just thoughts. Amen. No, it'll not be this way. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. I tell you, you'll see the change. Baby. That's when you'll see the change. Amen. 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 Just because fear comes against you doesn't mean that what you're afraid of will happen. Amen. What is one of the definitions we've heard taught in here before? False evidence appearing real. One of our teachers taught that. That was good. False Amen. evidence appearing real. Fear. Fear comes against all of us. Amen. The enemy wants us to think the worst. He wants us to give life to those things by talking about them over and over. Resist it. Amen. Say out loud. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I refuse. I refuse to be afraid. To be afraid of anything. Of anything. I refuse. I refuse. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To be afraid. To be afraid of anything. Of anything. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Of deadly diseases. Of deadly diseases. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Of terrorist attacks. Of terrorist attacks. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Of flying. I'm not afraid of driving. I'm not afraid of losing my job. I'm not afraid. My God takes care of me. I will not fear. I will not fear. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Holy You notice when we did that, we kept rising. Kept rising. Kept rising. Because faith was Amen. released into the atmosphere. Amen. It got stronger and stronger and stronger. Yes. I tell you, even when we yes. do it just one on one, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. <clears throat> John 14 and 27. Peace I leave. This is amplified. Peace I leave with you. My own peace I give. I now give and bequeath to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled. What do you mean, let? It just comes on you. Don't let it. No, stop it. No, stop it. Neither let them be afraid. Stop allowing yourselves to be agitated and disturbed. And do not permit yourselves to be fearful and intimidated and cowardly and unsettled. That comes against us all. You know, it amazes me sometimes when we we'll talking to people or ministering to people in the body or, or just out one on one. And people think they're the only one going through something. Amen. I mean, it's, 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 the, it's the thought in their, their head the devil has placed there. Well, I'm the only one. You don't, you don't understand. You really, Pastor, you just don't understand my situation. If, if you understood my situation, you'd know why you know, I, I don't ever come to church. Or you'd know why I, you know, it's just so hard for me. Or you'd know why. Really? Really? You think you're the only one? I can tell you ten more. I can tell you 15 more. I can tell you ours. Amen. Excuse me. Amen. Come Excuse on. me. People think nothing's ever come against anybody else. No, nobody else is going through anything. That's because we're self-centered people. That's right. Oh. <laughs> that was so good, though. Amen. That so good. I got that feeling. That's where you have to go. Come on. Amen. We all we all got some of that. Amen. We got pockets of self centered. Praise God. Sometimes they're deep pockets. Amen. Some Amen. Just really don't have a clue what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> they're totally Amen. self centered. Amen. Praise God. I mean, it's not about me. 
Amen. Thank you very much. John 14, 27 in the complete Jewish Bible. Same scripture says, What I am leaving with you is shalom. I am giving you my shalom. I don't give the way the world gives. Don't let yourselves be upset or frightened. Shalom. It means nothing missing, nothing broken. Amen. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Amen. Amen. Don't be afraid of what the enemy can try to put on you. I know I've been doing a lot of talking about cancer. It kept coming up in my spirit today. Yes. And um, <clears throat> there was a, a man I used to work with. He was a, a great man. I really loved that man. He was a great man. And I tell you, he had so many wonderful characteristics. I, I, I couldn't, I could stand here all day and just not, I mean, he just, he was a great man. But he had one all-consuming fear. And you didn't know it until it happened to him. When the devil put cancer on him, it it warred against his mind, and he didn't know how to do warfare against it. He didn't know how to pull it down. He didn't know how to cast it down, and it and it got him. And he he didn't succumb to the cancer. He he committed suicide, mm-hmm. and he gave up. And I'm I'm telling you, that's the reason I say this carefully. You don't know, and I don't know where somebody else is at. And and please don't take this as a condemnatory kind of message because that is not the way I'm delivering this in my heart. And it's not condemnatory on any of us. We're all in the same boat. Everybody in this place and everybody in the world, we're all in the same boat. We're paddling against the same enemy. You know, we're all all learning. We're all growing. But um, he just didn't know, you know. And sometimes we don't know it. Sometimes, sometimes we don't get God's highest and best, but it's not God's fault. That's right. It, it goes back to us. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm going to give you a little more. Y'all want to take a little more? Yeah. Amen. Come on, I got man. a lot more. Come on. You'll never, you'll, you'll never get what all I got today, but I, I got a lot more. You'll laugh about this, and some of you uh, may not really understand what I'm fixing to say. Okay, because I didn't. The first time I ever heard it, I said, that, that person is a fanatic. They are crazy. I, I, could, I could never be that way. I am that way now. <laughs> but you know how we judge other people when we say, I would never do what they did. I, you know, and we're guilty of the very same thing. But in this case, it was, um, this guy told me, he said, so-and-so, he said, uh, he, him and his family go to the Chinese restaurant, but they want to, they don't mess with the fortune cookies. I said, why not? What's wrong with a fortune cookie? There's some kind of evil that I don't know about in a fortune cookie. You know, and he said, uh, he, he, don't, he don't believe in it. He don't believe in what? I was really trying to get it. He said, he don't believe that you should just open it up and, and read it. And I said, well, I've never got a bad fortune cookie. I don't know. You know, they're all pretty much, you know, good sayings or whatever. And, I kind of made fun of it and made light of it and just laughed about it. It was just funny to me. And, uh, somebody could be so fanatical. Me and Sharon went to a restaurant one of the times. We got Chinese and, and uh, opened the fortune cookie like always. And, and I read something in that fortune cookie. <laughs> it's no lie. Amen. And I had this fear in my heart already. Mm. It, was, it was battling my mind. And I read it. And it was on the fortune cookie. And I said, oh my God. God. And it was like, it just, it just, it came against me. You say, that's the stupidest thing. I promise you, the devil would use little things, little things, little things we think are so innocent. And there's no way that could ever affect me. Because even after that, hearing about that, I said, that's so silly, that's so stupid. I can never, you know, and I, we went for a long, long, many times, you know, opening them. And, but after I opened that one, I said, I see it. Because it it, it, it it got me on the inside. It really it messed me up for a few days. You say, how could something like that? It did. Because it, it was it was speaking exactly what I was afraid of. Amen. And it said in that fortune cookie in a, in a roundabout way. And I said, God help me. And he showed me. He said, You opened yourself up to that. He said, You shouldn't have ever opened it. Amen. You shouldn't have ever opened it. And you wouldn't have read it. And you wouldn't have to war against it because you didn't read it. Amen. You don't have to war against things that you don't read and things that you don't hear 
that are wrong. Right. If we just obey, sometimes the Spirit of God, oh, there was, there was this man that I read about. He was a minister. Heard about him. He said that um, he was watching this TV show and, and he said there was nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with this TV show. He said he's a minister and he said he just, he just loved this TV show. He said it was so good. He said he was telling somebody on his ministry staff about this TV show. And I guess it's a show that had been out for a while and they have the whole season on something, you know, where you can see it ahead or whatever. Uh, I don't understand all this stuff, but maybe. Anyway, the other guy that, that he was talking to, he said, uh, stop watching that. And he said, huh? And uh, the Holy Spirit had already told him not, not to watch it. And he said, because he rationalized, he said, Holy Spirit, there's nothing, there's nothing in it. Nothing. He said, you can look at anything on that and there's nothing wrong with it. And the guy that was talking to him, he said, I know you. He said, don't watch this. And he said, tell me why. Because he, he told him everything that was, that was about it. And he said, the fourth show, he said, they're going to change everything in that show. And he said, it's going to be something that you, you're grieved by in your spirit. Don't, don't do it. Amen. He said, he stopped. See, and that's to say, there's some things that the Holy Spirit's already telling us. Right. See, the Holy Spirit told me about fortune cookie. Yeah. And, and I laughed and I cut up and I mocked the, the guy that was doing it. You know, not to him, but I was really mocking, just laughing about it, cutting up about it, because I thought it was silly. Uh -huh. But it wasn't silly. Right. Okay, I had a personal experience with it. Mm -hmm. To you, it may be silly today. It's a little funny thing or whatever. But I'm telling you, any avenue, any avenue that the enemy can use. I had, I had a man tell me over and over and over. This man has told me that, he said, I watch horror movies all the time. He said, it has no effect on me. He said, I love horror movies. And something about that don't, don't agree with me in my spirit. Now, I'm telling you. And I, I, I said, uh, I, I just can't do it. I said, I, I don't do it. I can't do it. And I said, I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying I can't do it. And um, it, it's come to me since then. It's having an effect. But he didn't know it. Amen. It's going to be unveiled. And there'll be torment from it. Yeah later on against his mind. Yeah. But he doesn't know it today. You understand? Can, yes. It got a little deeper, I know, than, than I anticipated it to get in here today. But I'm telling you that we got to be very, very careful because the enemy will use things, little things that people say, little things that we think are nothing, and he'll use them to bring fear on us. Little statements that are made yes. to bring fear. Amen. Hmm. Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Amen. It's not a good idea to talk about things you're afraid of. Amen. Don't give voice to it. It gives the enemy place. Well, I'm afraid I'll die of cancer. I'm afraid I'll die of a heart attack. God has not given me a spirit of fear. You say, um, well, Pastor... I, I, you know, you, you, you're kind of preaching this down. I'm not. I promise you I'm not. I'm going to give you one more illustration. Maybe two. I know um, when Benjamin was a little guy, I've always talked about him when he was a little guy. Benjamin turned, our son Benjamin turned 29 yesterday. Uh, Amen. Lives in New York and doing great. But uh, when he was a little guy, he had to have several surgeries. And uh, one of these surgeries, it got me. Oh, man, it got me. It was going to be like a nine-hour surgery. And that was a big deal. And it really got me. And um, I didn't go around talking about that it got me. I didn't tell people that it got me. But it had me. I mean, I was, I was a basket case. But nobody knew it. I didn't, I didn't say that out loud to other people. That's the reason I say you don't know what somebody else is going through just because they're not talking about it. And some people are real talkers. And they'll tell you if they, if they got a hangnail. They'll tell you, you know, it's, it's the worst thing in the world. I got a hangnail. But, but some people are not talkers. And they're going through hell itself Amen. and you don't know they're walking through that but it, it this thing it had me and uh you know this is while we were passing the church this many years ago and um uh, at storefront and i remember i was just you know how things when they get you and, and unsettle you uh -huh. in your mind it just it just had me and um now okay let me let me qualify okay i'm preaching and teaching this after the fact you should never, I should never get up here, and I hope I have never done that, and get up here and do it as the fact during the time I'm experiencing it. 
Because it's not a testimony. See, it, it'll produce more fear if I told you I'm going through this and I'm so scared and I'm, and I'm, I'm preaching that to you. I'm preaching to you years after this has already happened and I've already been through it. I'm doing this for a teaching illustration. That's the reason on finances. Don't, don't ever get up in a testimony service and tell what you're believing for or what God's going to do. Tell a testimony of what He's already done. Because otherwise it can be manipulation and control. Amen. You understand? That's a, that was all free. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But see, I was just, oh man, I've messed up. And I was trying. I was trying everything I knew to, to get myself back where I needed to be so I wasn't shook up about it. And uh, sometimes we're trying. Mm -hmm. We're doing everything we can do. Mm -hmm. We need to give grace to each other while we're trying. Yeah. While we're, you know, in the body. You know, we're trying. You know, give grace to each other. Don't don't heat condemnation and jump on. Just give them some love. You know, give them some grace. Say, hey, I've been right where you're at. You're going to go through this. You're going to make a way. God's going to make a way when there seems to be no way. Amen. Don't tell them what. You know, if you had some faith, you wouldn't be feeling like that right now. <laughs> and I know one thing. If I hear that, that will not like the pastor very well. Praise God. Because you will have a faith blessing out. <laughs> not just over my situation. I'm talking about situations where the body cracks at each other and not in love, but just... You know, oh, man. Uh, geez, you're like me. I, I'm perfect. And I ain't never been through nothing like that. <laughs> Shut your ugly mouth. Amen. <laughs> Shut your ugly mouth. If there you can't you provide some sort of comfort and some sort of help, some sort of encouragement, then master tape. Do whatever it takes. Duck tape. Hallelujah. <laughs> but fortunately, there was people praying. We had uh, a couple of people that were really prayer warriors. And, um, I, we never told them, but I know, um, it, it, I mean, when we were in the hospital up there with him, I was still messed up. I mean, I was messed up. And um, we were up there, and <laughs> the Lord, I mean, it was just God. I felt their prayers come down on me, and I felt it, and I felt that, that fear that I had experienced so strong over this situation. I felt that peace just rush in. Amen. And all of a sudden, I was okay. We're in the middle of it then, but I'm okay. I know I'm okay. And I, I'm, not, I, I'm not worried about it. You understand, that's what people in the body, that's the reason it's important to be in the body, hooked in the body. Maybe they saw it on me. I don't know. I've had people see stuff before like that. And, <laughs> and one lady, one time, I came to a prayer meeting down here, and as soon as I walked in the door, she grabbed me, she said, you don't look right. She said, <laughs> She said, we're going to gather around you and pray for you. I said, go for it. Because I knew, I knew I needed prayer. <laughs> I was like, please pray for me. Dear God, <laughs> release some faith over me. Yes, 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 and yes. Amen. And they did. Yeah. And I walked out of there, well, all right. Yeah. I don't know what you were thinking, devil, but you were thinking about the wrong thing. That's all I know. Because I just walked in all their prayer warriors and they just interceded all that junk off of me. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's the reason we need each other. Amen. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm stop it there. I've got, I've got so much more. But uh, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to ask y'all this thing. I'm going to ask Pastor Sharon if she comes. Mm. Glory to God. Thank y'all for drawing the way you do. Amen. Thank y'all for being the members that you are. You, I say it all the time. Y'all are the best members we've ever had. I mean, Thank you. Oh, I'm glad to go to this church. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We're glad Pastor goes to this church tonight. Amen. Praise God. speak of you again as we're ending the service this morning. I know that God has done a work in you, that God has spoken to you, and what you came in needing this morning, God has ministered to you already, and you're going to take it outside of here, and you're going to walk in strength, in spirit, soul, and body. Amen. Because we know that the enemy is a liar. Yes. Yes. Right. Everything that he's been speaking to you is lies 
of the devil. Yes. Amen. And so we're going to start speaking more of what God is saying yes. about yes. us. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. And yes. the more yes. the enemy speaks to us, the, the stronger we speak the yes. word of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. So Father, I just speak to your people this morning. Father God, I thank you that your word has gone forth and ministered to yes. each and every one, Father God. And as they go out of this service this morning, they are stronger spirit, soul, and body. And we thank you, Father God, that your word is a mighty force working on the behalf of your children, Father God. And so as we go out, we are going to speak your word out of our mouths, yes. and it is going to produce that that it is sent out to produce because God's word goes out and it does not return void. But it is strong, it is mighty, it is powerful, it is sharper than to any two-edged sword, piercing through asunder to the heart and the soul and the spirit. And we thank you, Father God, that your, your word is going with us, Father God, and changing things. The enemy means one thing, but the Word of God brings forth another thing. Yes, In Lord. Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen.